I'm going to feature another Key West artist. Now, she's originally from the bluegrass state of Kentucky, but a fork in the road led her to the southernmost city, fortunately for us. She does murals, textiles, abstracts. She's also well known for her Cosmo the Boat Cat series. Now, I can promise you that along with falling in love with her work and her cat Cosmo, you'll fall in love with Sherry Sweet Tea. Oh. Sherry, thank you oh, for being Oh, that was so me. sweet of you to oh. say that. Well, I mean it, Sherry. <laughs> I'm a big fan of you, and oh, I know so many you. other people are big fans Thank you well. so much. How thank long you. have you been in Key West for, Sherry? Uh, it'll be eight years in mm -hmm. October. Okay, eight mm -hmm. years in October. So and I'm, I'm right there, you're eight right years. There. Okay, and Sherry, your work's everywhere here mm -hmm. in Key West. Tell our viewers about some of the places they can find your stuff. Well, you can always find me at the studios of Key West. I've been part of that organization for almost uh, four years now. And uh, we're a great community of artists, and we're doing lots of great things for the community, offering workshops and mm -hmm. visiting artists. And then we have the residence cottages where artists from all over the world can come and share their art with us and, you know, just uh, kind of keep that whole community of mm -hmm. sharing art and uh, introducing them to the Key West community, inspiring them, and that's what inspired me. You know, years ago I came in, uh, my first year here was 1986. Okay. And <laughs> that seems like so long ago now, and it was a totally different life. But um, I loved Key West, and I fell in love with it, and I would come back every year and sometimes twice a year. And I was an artist in Kentucky also. I did murals and also designed fabrics for a company called Pomegranate. So I've always been immersed in the arts and I've always done my own thing and done my own business. And knowing that one day I would love to make Key West my home mm -hmm. and be part of this artist community and, um, you know, just immerse myself in, in the local people and mm -hmm. the colors, you know, the, um, the blue skies, the green foliage the punches of magentas and corals and yellows that dot our landscapes. And then, of course, the water, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We're just so blessed. Mm -hmm. And it's such an artist paradise. Mm -hmm. And you can just be inspired just by, you know, you don't have to do much, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Just look out the window. Mm -hmm. And it's just like every, every day is all inspiring. So, mm -hmm. but uh, part of the studio is a Key West. And then I'm also recently with uh, Fast Buck Freddy's. Mm -hmm. We have the pop-up gallery there and I'm just so thrilled to be there because I think it's a chance for people to see my abstract work. Mm -hmm. Most people are not familiar with that for me. They know me from the book, Cosmo the Boat Cat, and they know me from designing my fabrics and doing my hand-painted silks and things like that. But, um, and then they know me from my mural work because I've done mural work here throughout town. Um, but nobody really knew that I did this abstract expressionist work. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love to do. And fortunately, the studio space at the Studios of Key West um, makes that possible mm -hmm. to have that space to create. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm part of So Do Gallery. Um, that's where you'll find my brand, I call it a brand, mm -hmm. Sherry Sweet Tea, because that's where everything is the hand-painted silk scarves, the hand-painted hats. I do fedora hats that are hand-painted, so everything's original, one of a kind, so it's like Sherry Sweet Tea designs. Mm -hmm. And my, um, my color palette is original. Everybody knows my look after a while. Mm -hmm. they'll, you know, they'll be like, oh, that must be Sherry Sweet Tea scarf. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's distinct. Your distinct. look is very distinct. Distinct. Okay. Bright and colorful, mm -hmm. just like the keys. Mm -hmm. I just want to, you know, that's what I'm inspired to do. Okay. So, okay. And now mm -hmm. our viewers can see all of your abstracts behind us. We're featuring yeah. that right now. <laughs> and the abstracts are moving to New York. They're still going to stay right. here, but mm -hmm. you have something exciting yes, going on. Yes, I do. Um, I just got picked up by uh, Agora Gallery in uh, Chelsea, New York, and um, I'm just so thrilled about that. They notified me months and months and months ago, but I wasn't in the place. My head wasn't in the right place to feel like I had the confidence mm -hmm. to take on New York. And through a series of events and personal things that happened, I decided that I needed to go for it. Mm -hmm. So um, they pursued me, I wrote them back, and then they were delighted to have me. So I sent them my work and they, they loved my, my saturation of color, my use of resin and acrylics mm -hmm. on wood panel. And their, um, 
they're non-representational. Mm -hmm. They're like color fields and therefore they can be combined and turned and viewed in different ways. Mm -hmm. So um, they love that part of it. But when I sat down, I went to New York last month. No, I guess it was in July. I went to New York in July and I sat down with the director, Angela, and I told her about my new concept. And um, she was a little shocked, but she was very thrilled. And so uh, the pieces that will go to New York um, they will have my abstract pieces like everyone sees, but the new work that I'm working on now is quite provocative. Mm -hmm. It's very revealing. It's showing how people and women in society in general, we are always bound and restricted and restrained by our circumstance of being women sometimes mm -hmm. and what conditions we find ourselves in and the people we find ourselves with that want to be controlling and they want to control your art, and they want to control every bit of your essence. Mm -hmm. So as an artist, it's hard to break free of that. And, is, and the question is, in my paintings, uh, the pieces that I'm working on, is that we all show this one side, yeah. but if you open the box, what's really on the inside? Mm -hmm. yeah. And these are, these are, very, these are very shocking, provoking, provocative pictures. Um, uh, they're images for me, but I will have to say, Jenna, I think it's some of the best work I've ever done. I'm so excited to see yeah. it, Sherry. We're going to have wonderful. a yeah. We're going to have a quick. Um, we're going to have a little preview of those pieces. Um, actually, September the 20th, um, the studios of Key West has an emerging artist, and we were asked as resident artists to uh, choose another artist in another medium. So Nancy Boylan, who's a poet and writer here in town. She has done some poetry, mm -hmm. and I have done the artwork. And so it's going to be, uh, we are merging, collaborating as two artists. Mm -hmm. So those pieces will be hanging. Uh, there's just going to be two of them. Mm -hmm. But those pieces will be hanging um, at the Studios of Key West September 20th. Everybody will need to check that yeah. out. And Please Sherry, come. we're going to take a quick break right okay. now. But I'll be right back with Sherry Sweetie after these messages. Stay with us.